guys need to go to VectEasy.com. I would search under vectors. If you search under photos, you'll get pictures that have backgrounds and uh, you probably don't want to spend your time photoshopping out backgrounds. So we'll just use the vectors, okay? So um, let's pretend that I'm doing a girls volleyball theme and I'm gonna put in volleyball, okay? Now, uh, let's look at my options here. So I'm gonna go to this one. Now I'm on a pro, pro subscription um, so I don't see free or pro here. Now you guys will see free or pro. If it's free, you can download it yourself. If it says pro, then you just need to go to, let's pretend this is pro. Then you need to go to uh, this URL, copy it. And then on today's agenda, on today's agenda, you'll see that there is a Google Doc it says graphic requests and you can copy and paste that here you just tell me who is asking for that and then i will download it and put it in the server okay so when you connect to the server command k and look on the server you're going to find this folder called 2022 vect easy and these are all the ones that i've downloaded for other students okay all right so that's if they're pro if they're free you just download okay so let's pretend that I am going to download this. How do I bring it over into um, After Effects to, to actually use? So I'm going to hit download now. OK, and it might ask you, do you want it for free or do you want to pay for it? Like, are you going to use it for commercial purposes to actually make money? And you're not. You're just going to be using this in school. So um, you just hit free. And then you'll notice that in Chrome, it puts a preview of your downloads in the bottom of the browser window. So I'm going to double click this. When I double click it, it will unzip the file. OK, I'm going to double click it. Now you can see that it's opening and it's opening my downloads folder. So as you download stuff, it's downloading these zips. And um, you could also just download a bunch of stuff and then you know come here and just open each one. When you double click a zip, it will unlock, unzip, and open up this folder. I'm gonna look at the folder. And you should have several different file types, okay? You are looking for the one that says EPS or .ai. This is a, a vector graphic. A JPEG is an image and this will have a background. Okay, and you can't you can't edit this. You're only stuck with this, okay? Now, um, you might have to edit the graphic. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna go to After Effects. I'm going to double click to import. And I'm gonna go to Downloads. And I'm gonna go to, I think, I think it was this one. Nope, it was not. Oh, volleyball. And I'm gonna bring in this EPS. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna bring it in as a composition or a footage? Um, so usually I just go with, with the default and say open, okay? Now, if I click and drag and bring this down to my timeline, what's the problem here? It still has this you know, background to it. And I don't want to, I'm gonna hit like rotate. I'm gonna rotate it a few times so you can see what I'm talking about. It's not letting me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's not letting me. <laughs> I don't know why it's not. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, it's not letting me rotate. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, maybe I didn't make a, oh, I didn't make it. It's not on my composition. This is why. Okay, click and drag. <laughs> just ignore me. Um, okay, I'm just, I just want to get down to the, this is the, okay, now we're going to do it. R for rotation. And then I'm going to bring it over and then I'm going to rotate it. So I accidentally just opened the graphic. I didn't bring it down to my timeline because of the render thing. Okay, so let's look at this. Do you want this big square behind to rotate. No, you just want the ball. Okay, so what do I have to do th with this? I also want to give you, uh, show you as well if you have a bundle. Okay, so I'm going to open up the um, uh, Adobe Illustrator 2022 app. Uh, if it's not in your uh, 
doc. Remember, you can go to the hard drive, applications, and you should see Adobe Illustrator to open it. Okay. So uh, I'm actually just going to select the file, right click, and say open with. Adobe Illustrator, or you can go to Il Adobe Illustrator, file open, and search for the file through downloads. I'm just going to do this. It's shorter. And just say yes if it gives you, it has some things in there. Okay. So when I select it, now this is not grouped. So all I have to do is I use the selection tool and I'm just going to hit delete. Okay. And then I'm going to just say file save. And I'm going to save it to my computer and you should save it to your desktop folder. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to After Effects. I'm gonna get rid of this volleyball that's here. I'm going to go to, I'm gonna double click to import. Maybe. All right, and I'm gonna go to the desktop and here is the one that I uh, got the, rid of the background and I'm gonna bring it in. And now when I click and drag it down to the timeline, notice that there's no background and now I have this thing that I can, I can hit S for scale. I can bring down the scale of it. Um, I can hit P for uh, position and say, you know, um, I want it to start here and I want it to go here and I can put rotation and all that stuff. And notice that it's just this one, you know, with no background. Okay, now let's talk about bundles. Say that you download, I know I have some bundles, so I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna say file open, and it says, you know, it's on my computer, it's not in Creative Cloud. So I gotta go to downloads, where I downloaded, you know, all these bundles that I unzipped. So I'm gonna go in this one, and I have this bundle of more than one graphic, okay? So you're looking for the .eps or the .ai. So this is cool, it has an AI file, so I'm just gonna go ahead, and, and that's Adobe Illustrator, I'm gonna open that up. Okay, now it has all of these and they're grouped together and maybe you just want one of these pencils or one chess piece or one, you know, one thing, okay? So uh, when you select it, it's gonna be grouped uh, most likely and you'll have to right click and say ungroup. Okay, now I have individual pencils. All right, now do you just want one of these pencils? Then I'm just going to, you could hit delete or I just clicked, you can click and drag one, one out at a time. I clicked and drag over multiple and then moved it. So I just want this purple one. So what I'm gonna do is say file save as and save it on my computer and say purple pencil. And I'm gonna say save it to my desktop and save. Okay, we're gonna go to After Effects and I'm gonna turn this one off just so you can see what I'm doing. So I did the same thing. I'm gonna go to After Effects. There's my purple pencil. I'm gonna click and drag and bring it down. There's my purple pencil, okay? Now I can go back to uh, Adobe Illustrator. And if you do want one at a time, you can do the next one. And then say File, Save As, Save on my computer. And I could say blue pencil. So they just have to be named different names and they'll save as different files. And I'll say save. Okay. All right. And now I can do the green one and fi say file, save as. Are you, you get it? Save on my computer, save on the desktop. This is green pencil. And say save to my desktop. Okay. Now when I go into After Effects, and I go to, there's my green pencil. I'm gonna hold down command to select more than one file and bring in my blue pencil. And now I can bring in my blue pencil. All right, and I can, you know what I mean? So now I can animate these individually, okay? The other thing you might wanna think about is, yes, you can have a plain background, but you're more than welcome to get a, um, you know, whatever, you know? as long as it's kind of the theme of yours. All right, so um, think about that. Like, do you want it to happen in a space uh, that's already created? Do you want it to be abstract? Um, you could say like nature background, or you could say football field or blah, 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 or chessboard, or, you know what I mean? And you can just file place that. You don't have to, uh, you know, unlayer this. You just bring the whole thing in, okay?
Uh, I think that's it. Don't forget that. Um, command K, uh, or if you go to go, connect to the server, Command K, uh, that you get into the server. The server will be on your desktop after you do that. Um, that th this is the VecDZs that I downloaded for you. I'll put them in there. That there is the video motion graphics. Um, this was all the tutorials for you to learn. But also in this, there is the one color panther. There's a paw. Um, or there's the panther logo full color. There's a panther paw. Um, there's some of these graphics in there for, for you to use in your, your file. All right. Mm.